Hey, hey everybody and welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be closing out our April budget and seeing what all of our expenses were, how much income we had come in and getting that all closed out so we can get ready for May. So first off, we have our Erin Condren planner. It's her monthly planner. It's a seven by nine. We're going to go ahead and flip to April. So right here, uh, slide back over. So we're gonna use some of these numbers for all of our bills here. In my last weekly check-in, I forgot that insurance came in less than, so it was 269 versus that 285 that it normally is. So there's that. All right, but let's go ahead and get started. We are going to flip to our monthly budget sheet here. I need, I'm gonna fill in these numbers over here because I'll use our paycheck breakdown to do our how much our budget was first. So James's total. Okay. So those here will help us with our budget close out there. All right. So for our income coming in from the month of April for James, we had estimated thirty six hundred. The actual amount was thirty seven hundred seventy eight and forty seven cents. So he brought in $178.47 more than we expected. Myself, I brought in $240. I didn't get any YouTube this month, which is fine. Which makes me less than, or short $60 from what I estimated. From the office, estimated $280. Brought in $430.65 being 150 65 more than what I expected. Okay, so total income for the month was four thousand four hundred forty nine and twelve cents. Two sixty nine is how much we had extra come in from what we expected. Two sixty nine twelve. Get it accurate. Okay, so cars came in at the nine twenty. Rent six hundred. All state came in. It was actually 269 so that extra that was the difference from these two helped cover some of these other things storage came in at 64 student loans 60 pest control 33 all that was good power came in at 265.19 so that is $35.19 over what we expected Cell phones, we paid $369 for the cell phones this month. And that was because we had to replace James's phone because he had completely shattered the front of it. So we had to pay insurance, which was a lot. Don't want to have to do that again for a very long time, hopefully. Um, and then I got a new phone, so we had to pay all those fees and stuff that you normally pay when getting new phones. But that is definitely not going to be the same going forward. <laughs> Should go back down closer to this. Next up, water. Let's look and see how much we paid there. Was $66.70. Which definitely helped. It had about $3 left over there. Internet came in at $71.08 this month. We talked about it fluctuating up and down because we had to, we called them and try to get them to reduce it back down. So that's how much we spent. All right. If you've seen my last weekly check-in, we had $53 remaining from groceries, meaning that we only spent $547 for the month of April. Yes. If you saw the weekly check-in, we were over by $45. So that was $345. That was over. That was over, let's see. Oh, snap. That one was over. Okay. So as you can tell, we have a lot that has been over. So. Personal spending for me and James, he probably spent all of his. I only tracked mine. 
I still had $10 remaining, so that means there was $90 actually spent, $10 remaining. Miscellaneous, we did not spend anything, so we still had the 50. Now for sinking funds here, we use our previous numbers that we had brought in for this month from our paycheck breakdown here. Sinking funds, we were able to put $180 towards. Savings, we put $60 towards. Debt was able to apply 200. The cushion, we set $275 in the cushion. There. Then we had no unbudgeted, which is awesome. Okay. So, as y'all can tell, let's see. So, it balances it out with how much we were able to set aside in our cushion and what was still remaining from our other categories here to help cover the bills that were more and keep us going on there. I hate when we have a lot in one month that's way more than what we were expecting, but it happens. That's life. So just got to work through it, make the best you can. But this here was able to help as well. That difference there, I want to say it was 16, $16 difference there that also helped keep some help with some of these other ones that were under okay so our weekly check-in we did our last one and closed out there our sinking funds we have closed this out i haven't filled in the numbers here we're actually going to write down our ending numbers super fast and seems i prematurely wrote this one before my last stuffing we need to fix it all right so i'm just going to write the ending numbers down because I did go through and make sure that's what we have inside of our envelopes. All right, so 135 for anniversary. Birthdays is 615. Then we have car maintenance getting 15. Car tags is 315. And I've seen some people's car tags like $700 for one car. And I'm like really hoping that's not going to be us when they come around. So we'll see. Christmas is at six twelve. dollars Clothes. We are actually negative in clothes right now. So hopefully we can get this back even in May. But we spent $107 for that Target trip. Getting James and myself a few things that we needed. So... Hopefully we get that even. Dance, we're at four fifty. Family fun, six ten. For gifts, we have sixty five dollars. Holidays has five. House, we don't have anything in house right now. Lawn care has ten dollars. Medical is at forty. I'm at sixty-three. For the pets is sixty-four. Sam's Club is at one hundred. School is sixty-five. Vape, we didn't have anything in there. Vision has $81. And then nothing in utilities. So that is what our ending numbers for sinking funds look like. Um, I was doing the math earlier and I just didn't get it all filled in. But there is that. But this is our budget. I didn't close out debt. I'm still waiting on Friday's bill um, payments to clear to let me know exactly how much so that way I know what went towards principal and interest for especially for the cars but student loans exactly 60 is going to be down to $10,759 for student loans I do know exactly how much that is because it's all going towards principal but as soon as they close out or a finish processing these two I can get my ending numbers I do know in the Camaro we're down to 17,000 which is awesome I'm super excited can't wait to see it to hit 16 oh. and then the singles oh, so excited but as soon as I get that I can close out the debt tracker here but we're waiting on them to clear but I wanted to go ahead and close this out so we can get ready for May because it's tomorrow 
want to make sure I'm ready to go and start fresh in the morning for a new budget, a whole new layout and everything. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this budget results video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Really trying to reach 5,000 subscribers um, by the end of the year. So help me achieve my goal, please. That'll be super exciting. Um, but I really hope that y'all enjoyed and I can't wait to catch y'all in my next video. Bye-bye now.